hey you guys welcome back to my channel pisces soul tribe what's going on you guys hopefully this message finds you in good favor and that you're doing well on your journey and if you feel you aren't of course my intention is to grab a word from the divine to help inspire you to continue to move forward on your journey pisces soul tribe i want to get into a journal read for you and of course anything you need from me um, can be found down below in the description box okay so you guys so we have the number 14 for your in your dreams oracle card um which goes and rounds back up to the number five i'm getting a sense of some change um i feel like um at your command is what i'm hearing especially with her, um the her holding her hand on the dog's um head um i feel like something is at your command i feel like there's also some sense of guard some sense of protection um, a sense of um, readiness, um, positioning yourself also, okay? Hmm. But definitely, um, it feels like someone is standing their ground, is what I'm hearing as well. Okay, you guys. Let's get into some tarot. Spirit, what messages do you have for us for this week? So the High Priestess. Knight of Wands, Four of Pentacles. Five of Swords. <laughs> nine of pentacles and the nine of cups both came out together Pisces I feel like you were um, inspired to hold back from a certain situation I feel like you were you were meant to wait for a particular time in order to strike a mighty blow as well. Almost like when people least expect it. I feel like something's about to sneak up on people and there's going to be nothing that they can do about it is what I'm hearing. I feel like some form of abundance, some form of, of success, some form of wish fulfillment um, literally is going to be all of all yours. And I feel like this is something that people are going to have to watch and see. Uh, what is this nine of pentacles and the nine of cups spirit? Eight of Cups because you walked away from something. You you ended something. You put an end to something. <laughs> I mean, with this Five of Swords as well as this Eight of Cups. Yeah. I feel like there was just a point of time where it was a lot of people up against you. What is this Five of Swords? Huh, the Hierophant. Hmm. <laughs> What's the higher font? Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. This is something you were given some sort of strength to do. Like, I feel like it was, um, there was a purpose um, in all of this. I feel like it was you up against a lot of people, but I feel like you were divinely guided, divinely protected. I feel like you, after ten of, ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck with the Ace of Pen, Ace of Pentacles being offered to you, I feel Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, ace of pentacles i mean this is a lot of energy that is 10 of 10 pentacles like i feel like succession completions rewards are all incoming for you because of the things that you put up with tower some people don't believe in those things and you know respect to those who you know who don't doesn't make it possible though and I would, I would rather believe in it and leave the possibility open than not believe in anything at all. I feel like something is about to come as a shock. Um, possible sudden surprise with the Knight of Cups incoming. Okay. Something definitely is Eight of, eight of Cups. Um, excuse me, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. I feel like 
this is going to take a lot of people by surprise and probably something that's incoming is going to be very unexpected even to you I feel like there's possibly someone wanting to impro- um, approach you. The Empress did flip out, but I didn't call anything, so I'll just put her back in. But the Empress did come out. So I'm feeling like maybe somebody who's feeling like there's a possible match. I'm also feeling growth and evolution. I mean, you are in this nine of pentacles, nine of cups energy. Uh, we have the number 18 here if you round that up and then we round it back down to the number nine. So 99 could be significant. 999 could also be significant. Okay. What else, spirit? This eight. Yeah, seven of pentacles. There's growth. There's development here that's happening for you. I feel like something is just definitely just going to take some time. I feel like something was meant to take some time. Something that you were attracting. Something that you were building on. Something that you were working on. Um, meant to sit for a while. Um, the Ace of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like something is also about to be revealed to you at this present time as well. Spirit moving forward. Oh, Ten of Wands. Okay, by the Ten of Wands. Mm -hmm. So Eight of Wands. I feel like there's a message incoming to you about somebody being um, possibly being overburdened. Someone feeling like they have um, more on them that they could bear. Ace of Swords. Somebody's about to reveal some truth. Somebody's about to speak up about something. Especially with this Eight of Wands and the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Mm -hmm. King of Cups. Let's see. Death in the Reverse. What else? have the strength somebody wants to bring something back to life four swords at the bottom of the deck <laughs> somebody wants to bring something back to life um spark of flame again possibly but more so the analogy that i'm getting is somebody wants to bring something back to life seven of swords seven of wands Four swords still at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, somebody wants to bring something back to life. Um, and th honestly, they seem kind of determined. Because why? Page of Wands. Somebody wants to, to offer you something. Um, maybe possibly offer you some message of healing. Hmm. I feel like somebody's sending some sort of energy your way, though. Doesn't feel bad, but let's see. Somebody's also feeling a little restricted as well. Page of Wands. Yeah, Knight of Swords and the Page of Cups. I feel like somebody wants to offer you an apology. Knight of Pentacles. They want to offer you many different things. I feel like this is a person who, at one point in time, was supposed to offer you a whole lot more than what they did and now in this time and in, in space they're wanting it seemingly wanting to give it all i mean you have it all here you have the passion you have the emotion uh you have the thought you have the the, the stability knight of pentacles what else yeah with the moon the ace of cups as well as the five of cups this is somebody who's feeling like no matter what offer they give to you they possibly need to keep it to themselves because they feel like you are really not in this space of wanting to receive anything from anybody even more so them because like i feel like this is somebody who yeah they held back they held back a lot from you but like i feel like i feel like with the holding back there was some form of release for you i feel like you set yourself free and like i feel like this was supposed to happen because like if you're in a relationship with somebody you're trying to build and establish and grow with somebody why are you not offering everything you could to them in order to make the relationship better especially if it doesn't hurt or harm you if it's for the edification of both bodies and all of those attached in the relationship, I don't see what the problem is. But, hey, 
you know, to each their own. Mm -hmm. I feel like there is a little more here. Let's see. Spirit, any other messages you have for the Pisces Soul Tribe? Hmm. Knight of Cups. He's coming back again. Um, Page of Pentacles. Okay. So somebody want, wants to approach you. Somebody is trying to attract themselves to you as well. With the justice. I feel like something is incoming that you possibly um, attracted some form of truth. Five of Pentacles. There is a rebalancing. I feel like once upon a time there was somebody who was left without. I feel like they're with the fool at the bottom of the deck. There is a new start here. And like I feel like fresh, clean, new energy is on its way to you. Um, something that will give you an opportunity to come out of this five of pentacles energy and change the cadence is what I'm hearing. Okay. Six of cups as well as the queen of swords. I feel like there's somebody um, in common who feels like they may possibly um, want to help somebody who's having very fine memories. I feel like something may also be coming back to your memory to help you um, figure out how to deal with something, especially with the five of swords um, at the bottom of the deck. What else, spirit? I feel like you, your boundaries are also clear at this present time with the ace of cups. I feel like there's somebody who um, possibly is wanting to speak up about, you know, how much they they love you. Um, feeling like there's some form of insomnia and they're feeling um, having sleepless nights. Um, imagining being without you. I feel like this is somebody who definitely has a lot of love for you. But I, I feel like at one point in time, this is somebody who wasn't speaking up about that. I feel like this is someone who is, you know, now finally remember that remembering that being without um your energy and i feel like this person possibly feels like this is their justice this is their karma karma this is their just due <laughs> one second okay um we have the strength so definitely somebody who definitely has some very 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 strong um feelings for you um, I feel like this is somebody who is almost willing to do um, anything to be back in your good graces. Why is this important? Ten of Cups. This is somebody who feels like you are their wish fulfillment. This is somebody who feels like you they could build and grow a family with you. When they think about family and how that makes them feel, they think about you. Uh, page of cups at the bottom of the deck this is somebody who thinks about you a lot who imagines who like who like daydreams and like not obsessively like this is just somebody who really um sees who you are now but it's almost like i'm feeling like it's it's just a little too late what else spirit why is this important the hangman I feel like maybe possibly there needs to be a, a change perspective. Ace of Pentacles. I feel like there possibly needs to be a change perspective about how you receive offers, especially with the Six of um, Pentacles. An offer of reciprocity, an offer of equal give and take. I feel like that is the change of perspective. Either it's going to be balanced or nothing at all. As I give, you give. With the lovers at the bottom of the deck. Um, something about perfect balance. Something about continuity. Um, Gemini could be very significant. But definitely something here about communication. Um, especially with the lovers um, incoming. Gemini, master of communication. Um, what else, spirit? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles to the tower. I feel like something slowly is changing. And like, I feel like these changes are definitely going to be unexpected. But like, I feel like these are the changes that are necessary. With the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. These changes are necessary. But there's a lot of grounding, a lot of um, restructuring is what I'm feeling. 
tower. Page of Cups. I feel like something in coming to you is going to be very unexpected. Something like really meant to be very um, emotionally fulfilling, emotionally driven. Um, a possible offer, um, a possible offer to be in a more um, more well balanced um, emotional space. Something that will really fulfill you. Maybe possibly, possibly, maybe a dream is coming true. Is also what I'm feeling, especially with this Page of Cups. Very imaginative. High Priestess. Yeah, I feel like there there's something here that is um, on a deeper level, on a soul level. High Priestess. You're definitely learning Eight of um, Swords. Why the Eight of Swords? Uh, hierophant in reverse there's somebody here who's not using their intuition who is net who's being negatively impacted by um the things that are happening in your life as things are as things began to happen good for you this is somebody who's beginning to feel like things are not so great for them um on many different levels and this doesn't mean that somebody's going through an extreme tumultuous time it just means maybe somebody is not feeling as emotionally grounded maybe feeling a little maybe feeling a little sadness sorrow um while you're off somewhere happy um growing um being more abundant but I feel like somebody didn't use their guidance. I mean, the high priest, the high priestess upright. Like, I feel like that is you. Eight of eight of swords to the hierophant in reverse. That's supposed to be your perfect match. Like, I feel like somebody here was um, planning your energy, planning your plan, planning your face. And like, I feel like that is why this ten of cups is here. Like, I feel like there was somebody here where, where you were in an established relationship with. But this is something that really, really stressed you out. Somebody felt in prison. Somebody felt like they were on lockdown, possibly restricted. OK. Hierophant in reverse. Four of wands. <laughs> Why the four of wands? <laughs> Two of swords. Four of swords. Six of swords. This is somebody who has no other choice but to move on and move forward. I feel like there's something here about someone knowing that they need to leave you alone. Needing to heal and finally move forward with their life because something definitely is over. Something just definitely is over. Something definitely is over. Okay. Anything else important, Spirit? <laughs> the Empress. Okay. Okay. Knight of Wands. The world. Yeah, you're definitely moving forward and moving forward very quickly, um, might I add might I add. Um very um, inspired, very um, led, a lot of confidence. Um, I feel like you're right at the beginning of a new start. I'm feeling like somebody's stretching, you know, having um, after having taken some rest, stretching, preparing yourself for the journey that lies ahead is also what I'm hearing. But fresh, clean energy. I feel like you're moving forward, you're moving on, and you're starting over. Last few messages. Nine of Swords, <laughs> King of Wands, of course, Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. 
Yeah, this is somebody um, in your energy who who is also feeling restricted. I feel like there's a little disappointment with what they weren't able to create. I feel like somebody went to the battlefield, but they left defeated. Um, Eight of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Like, I feel like this is someone who, who is working on possibly some form of, of healing, possibly working on recovering from this loss with this 10 of pentacles in reverse because why the 10 of pentacles in reverse yeah so eight of cups definitely endings to the nine of wands somebody definitely is blocked out of your energy because something definitely is over i'm feeling like it's just time for things to um come to a head I feel like introspection is necessary with the hermit at the bottom of the deck um, being solo dolo and moving forward um, into other relationships and other spaces that would be more meaningful for you. But let's see. We have the number 14 here um, in your dreams, Oracle. Um, let's see what that's about. And then we can get out of here, you guys. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so the number 14, stop and get to know yourself. This is fire um, in its action. Keep calm and start your internal change today. The quote is, life is 10% what happens to me and 90% of how I react to it. Charles Swindle. That's good. Actually, great advice. Pisces Soul Tribe, that was your reading. Um, hopefully, this message resonates with you in some way, shape, form, or fashion, and you are able to take something from it that you can use. Of course, Pisces, if there's anything you need from me, you can find those details down below in the description box. And as always, Pisces Soul Tribe, remember to conquer this beautiful day. Bye, guys. <laughs>